Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of OpenCart Product Quantity Restriction Plugin. Now this particular plugin allows the OpenCart Web Store admin to set quantity restriction on products for minimum and maximum product quantity to purchase. Apart from that, the admin has various options through which he can set the limit for his customers. On the other hand, the registered customers can send a request to the admin to change the minimum and the maximum product quantity purchase limit as required. The admin, apart from setting the product quantity minimum and maximum limit for purchase on particular customers, can also set the product quantity restriction on particular customer groups as well. So all in all, uh, the admin would be able to set up uh, the restrictions on the product quantity that a customer can purchase. So the admin can set up the minimum and the maximum purchase quantity. So right now you can see that I'm at the OpenCut web store front end on one of the products that is the uh, black leather skirt. For example, I want to purchase one quantity of this uh, particular product, but it has been set with the, uh, the uh, product quantity restriction there by the admin. So if I try to add only one, then I can see that you have to minimum, you have to buy minimum three products uh, of this particular product so as to make a checkout there. Only if I add three quantity here, would I be able to add the particular products into the cart. Now the same goes for the uh, maximum quantity as well. So for example, if I want to uh, purchase 10 quantities of this particular product and I want to add it into the cart, I can see that you can only buy maximum six products of uh, or the six uh, quantity of this particular product if you want to purchase. So there's a minimum and a maximum product quantity restriction that the admin has set up and uh, the registered customers what they can do is they can basically contact the admin from here to upgrade their uh, restrictions there. So they can tap on the contact admin option that you can see here and from here they can send the minimum quantity, maximum quantity and a message along with that to the admin for the approval there. So for example, if you want, uh, we can uh, proceed further with this. So I'll set the minimum quantity as one, the maximum quantity as 10 and I can enter the message for the admin as well. Uh, I can enter kindly update the minimum and the maximum product quantity to purchase and thereafter I can tap here on the send button to send this particular message uh, to the admin there and you can see that the admin has been notified of your request there so if you try and again send this particular request there then you'll see a pop-up uh, stating that you've already uh, sent the uh, notification request to the admin there so uh, this is how basically the admin can uh, set the minimum and the maximum limit for restrictions there for the products and according to that uh, you can see the uh, see the pop-up there that st uh, states that you can buy a maximum of uh, how many products and if you're going with minimum quantity there how many minimum products can you purchase there so before proceeding further with this particular video tutorial there, please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates from our end. And if you find this particular video helpful, then do kindly give it a thumbs up. So now let me take you to the admin backend panel and let me show you the rest of the configuration settings in the admin backend panel and how the admin can uh, set the minimum and the maximum uh, product quantity limit there on the customers, on the individual customers there and on the customer groups as well and how he can view the requests that have been made through the contact admin option here at the storefront or the product pages there. So for that, let me take you to the admin backend panel now. So I've already logged into the admin backend panel and after the successful installation of this particular plugin, you'll find one uh, product restriction option as you can see here on the side panel. Under that, you'll be having customer list, customer group list, and the customer request list. Now let's hop onto the customer request list first. So here we'll find all of the requests that have been made by the customers from the uh, store front end to, uh, to raise their minimum and the maximum product purchase limits. So this was the black leather skirt uh, that we uh, sent out that the minimum should be one and the maximum should be 10. Let's view the request. And here you can see the customer name is John Doe and the customer's message, the same message that we sent out, kindly update the minimum and the maximum product quantity to purchase. 
Now from here the admin can send back the message uh, uh, to the customer there and uh, can reject or approve the request as required. After the approval now the customer would then be able to add the black leather, leather skirt with a minimum of one and a maximum of 10 quantity there and can uh, purchase the product there with a minimum base quantity of one and a maximum uh, quantity of 10. So within the range of one to 10, he can purchase uh, any number of products there. So this was about the customer request list. Now coming to the customer list. Hey, the admin will find the complete list of uh, customers uh, that the admin has added and uh, has set the product quantity restriction on the customers, on the individual customers. So here you can see that I've already added one customer with the name John Doe with the default minimum and the maximum limit as 2 and 10. And if I edit this particular customer, I can see the customer name, the default minimum limit and the maximum limit. Now the default minimum and the maximum limit only apply when uh, we have not applied any minimum and maximum product quantity limit to any product. In that case, uh, for a product on which we don't have applied this particular limit, then in that case the default minimum and the maximum limits would apply on that product otherwise to add the limits for the products you can add the products by tapping here on the add button and selecting the product from the uh, drop down from the option there and then you can set your minimum and the maximum limit so for example uh, uh, we had the black leather skirt you can see that we had set the minimum as three as we saw at the storefront and the maximum as six. Now, in this case, uh, for example, because we have said three and six, so this would be applicable if the customer tries to purchase, this customer tries to purchase this particular product, then he has to purchase a minimum of three and he can go up to a maximum of six unit or quantities of the product there. Now, if I remove this black skirt from here, then this default minimum limit and the default maximum limit would be applicable on the black leather skirt itself. So you can see that uh, you have to buy a minimum of three was there and when we were going for 10, you can buy a maximum of six products, right? Now, if I, I removed it from this particular section here and let me save this. So now the minimum should be two and the maximum limit should be 10 there. So if I refresh the page there, I try and add one. I'm sorry for that. Uh, let me uh, delete that product. The black leather skirt is still there. I have to remove that black leather skirt. I've removed it now. Now if I save this uh, configuration here, now the minimum and the maximum limit should apply as two and 10. So if I refresh the page and try and add one product, so you can see that you have to buy a minimum of two products. And if I go with 11 quantity, you can see that you can buy a maximum of 10 products. Now this is happening because for this particular customer, I have removed that particular product and the product minimum and maximum limit and the default minimum and the maximum limits are working right now. Now if I want to again add that product, I can access that product and I can set the quantity there again as three and six or whatsoever I want to set and then the default minimum and the maximum limits would not apply but the limit for the product that you have set here would apply there at the product page itself. Now let's go back to the customer list so that's how we can set up the customer list and edit it up. To add a new customer you can tap here on the add button. Uh, from here you can choose the uh, customer for example uh, I'll choose Henry and from here we can add the products for Henry we have set the default minimum limit and the maximum limits the, these limits 1 and 5 are coming from the initial configuration settings of this particular plugin uh, that I'll be showing you in the end of this particular video so we can set these minimum limits as per your own requirement there now the default minimum and the maximum limit for this particular customer is one and five. So for any of the products on which we have not applied the minimum and the maximum limits for those products, if this particular customer goes to uh, purchase uh, any quantity, then the minimum is to be purchased. That is one 
and the maximum uh, quantity that can be purchased uh, for uh, that product on which we don't have applied the minimum and the maximum product quantity limits would be 5. Otherwise, uh, if he goes for the bell sleeve dress, for example, and I set the quantity here as minimum as 6 and maximum as 70, then on the bell sleeve dress, he'll have to purchase a minimum of 6 quantity of this particular uh, bell sleeve dress and a maximum can be purchased up to 70 units there itself. And then you can add, if you want, you can add more products as well as per your own requirement and then you can tap here in the save. And after you save it, you can see the uh, successful edition of the customers is there, Henry Do, with a minimum maximum default limit of 1 and 5 for the products uh, to which the minimum and the maximum quantity has not been applied. And uh, here we have the products uh, on which we have applied the minimum and the maximum limit uh, there as 6 and 70 for one product. You can add multiple products as well as for your own requirement there. And you can set the minimum and the maximum limit. Uh, that would be applicable on the respective products when the uh, particular customer goes uh, to these products to buy these products there. Now let's go back. Now after the customer list, we have the customer group list. Here we can find the complete list of uh, product quantity restriction customer group list that we have created. To add a new one, you can tap here in the add button. From the drop down, you can choose the customer group that you want to select. You can set the minimum limit, the maximum limit. Uh, there the same goes uh, for uh, the customer group as well so the minimum and the maximum default limit would apply to those uh, products uh, for which we have not set the minimum and maximum limits and uh, to set the minimum and maximum limits for the products we can choose the products and set the minimum and the maximum limits uh, or, or the product quantity that can be purchased by the particular customer group there thereafter you just need to tap here on the save button and the particular group would be saved so uh, you can edit any group at any time by tapping on the edit button and then you can add more products to the group as well. And lastly we had the uh, customer request list and uh, I've already taken you through the request list uh, there and the admin can approve or reject a particular uh, request that has been made uh, from the storefront uh, for a particular product for increasing the minimum and the maximum uh, product quantity there for purchase by tapping here on the uh, contact admin button when you try to buy a maximum number there. For example, I've tried to buy maximum of 32, but I can only buy a maximum of 10 products of this particular product. Same goes for the minimum quantity as well. So uh, after tapping here on the contact, you can enter the minimum quantity, maximum quantity, and enter the message. And you can tap here on the send button to send that particular uh, request uh, to the uh, admin for the approval there itself. The admin can also delete any of the requests that he has re received by selecting the particular one and tapping on the delete button and tapping OK on the prompt there. And here we have the uh, filter options as well like ID, product name, customer name, minimum quantity and the maximum quantity. According to that we can filter out the uh, particular customer request as well. The same goes uh, with the uh, customer group as well. Here we have the filter option for the customer list as well. Here we have the particular respective uh, options to filter out the uh, customer list for the product quantity restriction there. Now coming to the initial configuration setting here we can uh, navigate through extensions and then uh, uh, modules uh, modules and here we have to go to the uh, product quantity restriction and then tap on the edit under the actions column. So from here we can enable or disable the uh, functionality there for our store for the product quantity restriction plugin by choosing enabled otherwise to disable it we can choose uh, the disabled option there then we have the default minimum quantity and this is the default minimum quantity that would be applied if product minimum quantity has not been set and uh, this is the maximum uh, default maximum quantity that would be applied if the product's maximum quantity has not been set so these are the default ones, 1 and 10, that would be applied to the products for which we don't have set the minimum and the maximum uh, default values there. Then we have the time option, so it is the, the time after which the previous made orders will be compared to the to check maximum buy limit of any customer there. So you have to set this from the calendar itself by selecting the date there and uh, then choosing the time as per your requirement and then you can tap here on the save button to save the configuration settings. 
So yes, that was much about uh, the uh, OpenCard product quantity restriction plugin and I hope it helped you out in understanding the workflow of the same. If you still have any questions, queries, suggestions or requirements, then kindly do reach back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com or you can raise a ticket at webcool.uvidas.com as well. Apart from that, if you find this particular video helpful, then do kindly give it a thumbs up. And lastly, thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead.